Hey, this is Matt from Investquant. Today is Thursday, November 18, 2021. The markets are pushing higher this afternoon. So this morning we saw the markets gap up and then we sold off here just a little bit after the open. We kind of had a quiet morning forming and then big selling came in, uh, tested lower, took out yesterday's low and uh, down just below that 46.70 area and has since taken off to the races to the upside. We are now uh, making new highs on the day. We are trading above yesterday's high here in the S&P as well as the NASDAQ, which is a chart on the bottom left. Uh, down Russell, again, doing their own things today. We've seen lots of divergences between the markets uh, here recently. That is uh, seeing different action again today as well. But what we'll be looking at is the pattern that is uh, taking place here in the S&P and the NASDAQ this afternoon. So let me go ahead and set it up uh, using all four instruments. I'm doing this a little bit earlier than normal, so I'm going to use a different entry time than what I normally do. I'm going to use a 2 o'clock entry time. Um, we do have the ability to test any 15-minute increment throughout the regular trading hours uh, session here in Discover. So um, I usually do a 3 o'clock, but today we're going to do a 2 o'clock entry, and it'll be exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern time. Now, to set this up, what I'm going to be saying is that the market gapped up this morning. So in the opening filters, I'm going to click on Gap Up, and then I'm going to go to the Post Open Filters, and I'm going to say that as of the time of entry, we are trading above the prior session high of day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this intraday close, which is going to be referencing the price at the time of entry, which I've got set to 2 o'clock Eastern time. I'm going to say that is above the prior high. So I'm going to hit equals here for above prior high. That will need to be confirmed on your end at 2 o'clock. I have no idea if we'll be there or not, but that's where we are at right now. So that's what I'm using here. Next, I'm going to go into the indicators library. I'm going to say we're above a 10 and 200 day simple moving average. And then lastly, in the market events library. Today is the day before options expiration. So I'm going to come to active today. I'm going to click on that top option, and that is going to add it to the test. This gives me everything that I need. Now I can click view results. All right, here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 2 p.m. Eastern time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern time. When it is the day before options expiration day, you're in a bull market environment. You gap up that morning, and as of 2 o'clock, you are trading above the prior session high of day. Historically, we've got 32 samples in the S&P, 24 in the NASDAQ, 32 in the Dow, 24 in the Russell. Win rates on these are all in agreement and all pretty strong. So S&P coming in at 69% of those have finished higher than that 2 o'clock price. For the NASDAQ, it's 67%. For the Dow, 78%. And for the Russell, 63%. So uh, very similar win rates there and pretty strong. Um, if we look at the average moves, average win a little bit larger than the average loss there for the S&P. That's also the case for the NASDAQ, for the Dow, and for the Russell. So uh, this has been a fairly bullish pattern on the day before option expiration day in a bull market environment. Again, you do need to confirm at 2 o'clock if we're trading above the prior day high or not. Who knows if that'll be taking place. But the other information here is true for um, at least the S&P and the NASDAQ. So we'll find out a little bit later um, if this is true for them this afternoon or not. But hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today, and we will see you next time.